To the boat. Thank you. For what? For taking my side back there. It ain't about sides. <laughs> Feels like Jose has lost his spine. For this move on. It's getting Bronte, wise with age. Is it for the bank job? Or revenge for what happened at the trolley station? Both. <laughs> Neither. What does it matter? We need to hit that bank. And Bronte has the police and just about everything else in San Denis in his back pocket. He also set us up. And lest we forget, took young Jack. I understand. We just got a lot of pots on the boil, given all the folks who's out gunning for us. You all seem to have forgotten how money is made and what it takes to support 20 people. Let alone what it takes to give 20 people a new life overseas. With all due respect, Dutch, is this Tahiti plan really <laughs> You don't even know where the out? place is. You tell me, Arthur. Is it? Have some goddamn faith. I am bending over backwards to make a future for us. I know, but... But, 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 when did you become so small-minded? If you'd rather we break up the family, go our separate ways, just tell me. He's, uh... Of course not. Becoming this a little bit a dramatic. Camp. I am not forcing anybody to stay. So either we're in this together, working together to get out together, or we're not. There simply isn't a reality in which we do nothing and get everything. I know. You're right. Just feels like we're on borrowed time again. I mean, the old Driscoll's found us. Yeah, we need to move, and soon. Haven't I made that clear? Anyway, here we are. Let me do the talking. Yeah, gladly. Thomas, it is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Thomas, have you met Arthur? Arthur? Thomas is quite the boatman. He's gonna help us get close to our prey. The other night we had quite the adventure fishing for catfish. Now, my friend. Can I call in that favor? What do you need? You know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. <laughs> we need to make a social call. We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. Well, if anyone can, I can. We'll pay you for your trouble. If you bringing him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. Oh. Good. My business partner, Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the traps. Would you come with me? Of course. Arthur? Why not? Shouldn't take too long if we can find him. Be lively. Mind you, there's a lot of gators. Uncommon number. Big ones. Great. Come now, Arthur. It'll take more than a prehistoric reptile to scare you, Shirley. I just want to see you meet your match when it comes to a, an aging predator with a big mouth, Dutch. Arthur here is something of a comedian, Thomas. More <laughs> of a jester than a gunslinger. I think our shot's oh, all right. Come on. So, Mr. Dutch. This way. Come on, this way. Follow me here. And stay on the higher ground. So we're gonna pull up in like ground, a feels like rowboat? Down here, we can't be too picky there, Mr. Arthur. And then just be sitting in the rowboat taking here. shots? I don't know if that's wise. Oh, look at one out there. You keep a lookout for company. Mr. Arthur, check the traps with me. Can you please check the other one for me, Mr. Arthur? I am. I'm literally doing it there, Tom. Nothing. This one's empty. All right. I got a few more set over this way. Come on. I don't want to know what just touched my leg. Mr. Dutch, 
You show you the right fellas to be going after Angelo Brunton? <laughs> oh, he's much more the kind of reptile I can handle. We about now to die. Close. Make sure you follow my line. Oh, I fully intend to, Thomas. You too, Mr. Arthur. You can see why even in swamp waiting hasn't caught on as a pastime, can't you? <laughs> I love it out here. Peaceful. Nobody bothering you now. Dude, this is like a Except death wish. Look at another one up there. The night folk. Yep, some strange people around these parts. Wider than the animals they are. Well, this just gets better and better. Got one crayfish. Sooner we get this done, sooner I can help you boys. This is a dumb, dumb idea. Whoa. Stop where you are. It's a gate. Oh, you're only just seeing just that? As still as you can. To be fair, I think he only has one eye, so. I shouldn't judge. Alright, let's keep moving. I got another trap by that small island up here. I don't know what's taking Jewel so long with that boat. I think we are all equally keen to find her. Jesus. Look at it. Whoa. This trap is stuck in the mud. It happens. Ooh. Guess something didn't want to be caught. My gosh. So it's true. What is? There's been talk of a big old bull, but people talk a lot of nonsense. What? I guess this was... No, but only some huge could do this. Oh, Great. Fantastic. Let's hope it bites you first, Dutch. Should we just keep moving? I don't really want to hang around here much longer. I... I suppose this could wait. Let's go. God, and we only have like a pistol. This is not going to be good. I'm going to stress smoke. My God, there's no shortage of them. Good eating. Us or them? Both. Exactly. Come on. We're going in neck really deep when we see three of them cross right us. I reckon we should split up so we can search both sides. Nope. Okay, Arthur, since you appear so at home here, you take the right. Are you freaking we'll kidding me? Left. What? Just keep your eyes open. I'm out of here. Someone there! Jules! Hello? Hello? Oh! That must be him. So he's alive. I was expecting worse. 
Oh, he's up here. Hey, you in a tree. What are you doing? There's a monster. A monster. Frick. You okay up there? There's a monster. Where? Master, it nearly ate me. Where'd he go? It's it's out there. What? A big gator. Biggest I ever saw. Big and nasty. Frack. Knocked me off the boat and chased me over here. You must be Jules. Yes. Where is the boat? Over there. I ran. I... No. Okay. Yeah. And, uh... Where'd this monster swim off to? I got the scab. It's over here. He said, "Good luck shooting Stop. that thing." I missed the last part because this started. I got it loose. Jump. Good man. All right. Let's get back to the dock. Yes, please, let's go. These are the guys that we're trusting with our boat needs. Thank God. So, uh, who are these fellas, Thomas? Two new friends of mine. I'll explain later. Jules? We are very happy to have finally made your acquaintance. I thought I was gonna be out here all night. What was you doing hiding up in the tree, boy? <laughs> this gator was huge, Thomas. Twice as big as I ever seen. Twice as angry, too. Whoa! Holy I shit. Think we hit a tree stone. I think we hit a gator. I thought we clear. You're gonna need to jump in and pull us free. Me? Yeah, just do it. Won't take oh, no. Boy, go on. This is a bad idea. Bye, Jules. <laughs> You'll see any giant monster long before it gets anywhere near you. Got a He's couple dead. crack gunslingers here with the guns loaded. You'll be fine. You didn't see the thing. Yeah, neither did you. It's just a myth, Jules. Now Watch pull. him. He's gone, man. He is gone. Pull. Oh no. Yep. Bye-bye. What? Are you shitting me? You mean like the whole leg? Or currently it has your leg? Look at the big wave there. How do I get him? He must be close, Arthur. Come on. Come on, Arthur. Hide him. Help! I'm coming. Help! Get help me. I get you, Sim. I got you. Yo, oh, he, oh. God, no. And now there's blood in the water. Oh, look at that. God, oh, God, no. Please hurry. Fire off a couple of warning shots just to pretend you're here. Oh, God, no. Bring it you. Please hurry. I got you covered. Come on. Oh, Hurry! Hurry! Give me the boy. Hang in there, Jules! Come, come on, come on, quickly, quickly! Let me in, please! Hurt very bad. You should be okay. Get in! Well, this weapon sucks. I gotta clean my gun. It's not gonna do anything. I don't have time for this. <laughs> oh no. I 
think he's going. Shit, that is one. That's big funny. <laughs> oh, your boy doesn't look too good there. Here, take uh. this. Try to stop the bleeding. You're gonna be okay, son. You're gonna be okay. Just thank your old Uncle Dutch. I heard that. There's still a lot of blood. You need to put pressure on. I'm, I'm doing that there, Dutch. I'm doing that. He's out. I stopped the bleeding. I think he'll be okay if he don't get a fever. We can bring down a fever. A fever is the least of oh. our worries. Look who's back. God damn it. Put every bullet. Jesus. Look at that thing. It's a literal man eater. Okay. I think it's had enough. Now, Jesus. Can we get back now? You're gonna be okay, kid. Sorry, Jules. Guess all them stories was true. Big and bad. That's unusual. Normally the little one's angry. Big one's is lazy. Well, I guess he never outgrew his anger. Kinda reminds me of you, Arthur. You know, not the time. I've never seen you squeal before, Dutch. <laughs> I weren't the one squeal. Yeah, well, you weren't in the water with him. And this poor boy was nearly dinner. <laughs> Can we get some help? Jules has been bitten. Oh my God. There's a monster out here. He's been bitten, but he's alive. Just keep him warm. Feed him garlic for the infection. Thank you. Both of you. I'm at your service anytime you need me. Thank you, Thomas. Where can we find you? You just meet me back here. Very good. Can one of you help me put the boat back out? Sure. I'm gonna head back to camp and placate the irritable Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. I'll collect the boys. Meet you back here, Arthur. <clears throat> Mr. Arthur? <clears throat> Old Bronte. A bad man. I know. Killed some good folks. Hurt a lot of people. Well, he definitely lacks a certain charm. I'll see you soon. You be safe. We got monsters out here. <laughs> well. Noticed. Guess we just decide to stay out here today. Let's get. Okay then. So Dutch has taken off north to uh, Legras. That's fine. I think what we'll do now is, I guess we'll go back to Al, which was the original plan a while ago. But then he disappeared when we were close. Yeah. I don't know if it was like maybe hey, a time hey. of day thing. And then I'd like to go to the uh, to that house at night, the mansion. Yeah. So we'll ah. see. I'm gonna cut across here. Whoa, holy frick. It's okay, boy. That's not boy. You're fine. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You're gonna be fine, dude. Discover the location of a legendary fish. Someone living near Flatiron Lake is known for their interest in fish. Oh, cool. Okay. Oh. How you doing? We can't. We can't go through here. We're too deep. 
We're too deep. All right, buddy. Whoa. All these guys. It's going to be bad. I got it. What the hell? How? Whoa. We've been killed before, but not by being stabbed in the back like that. That's new. It's the same dudes that we saw when we when we saw the other hanging body a long time ago. Holy frick. That was crazy. Yeah. There's nothing I could do. Yeah. Go, go. We'll have to be wary of that next time that we see one of those bodies Fast. hanging like that. We know it's a trap for sure now. Which is fine ah. if we're prepared. If we weren't prepared. He's got coyotes running behind him. Well, sir, can't hear us coming up. Do you know anything about alligators? Only the basics. Avoid them wherever possible. <laughs> well, did you know that in the last 50 years, we've killed 90%? You say that like it makes you sad. They're beautiful creatures. <laughs> Let's see how you speak when one of them's got you in a death row. Yes, I will make some creature a very happy lunch one of these days. Let's try and avoid that from happening today, huh? Well, you stay there, you'll get a great shot, then you'll get eaten. <sighs> what a way to go. <laughs> Why don't we take this boat out, and I'll protect you. Come on, get in the boat, he'll be fine. Well, if you really think that's necessary... You carry on shooting from that bank, you're gonna wish them wolves had eaten you. Really? Yes. <clears throat> the ten percent have survived. They're the nasty ones. All right, then. Um, oh, I saw a movement to the north of us. Oh, and to the west. Oh, and to the northwest, there. <laughs> That's probably where we should look. Let's go look, then. When we find one, line me up so I can get the shot. I'll try. Don't get too close. You'll scare them away. Close, but not too close. Got it. How could I possibly mess that up? Boars. If we're in luck, an alligator won't be far away. Saving alligators, but you don't mind that pork chop getting butchered. Yeah, watch this. Whoa, there's your shot. It's got it. Quick, quick. I must get this shot. We caught him. In the middle of his dinner. This is just for me, truly. Yikes. In all its glory and cruelty. Could have been you if you stayed on that bank where I found you. Don't. Okay. So, um, now it's southwest or due west. Last year, they brought 10,000 skins out of the swamps of Lemoyne alone. Gators got some catching up to do there. Cases, trunks, shoes, boots, belts, Bibles even. They'll make anything out of gator leather that the market desires. And all a gator's gonna do with your leather is eat it. Maybe chew on it a while. Right. Right. There, in the cane rake. A likely spot for one. I Get see one right in front of us. Okay. There. The you see its head? Sure did. Beast in repose. All as calm as the predator lurks. The final sighting was to the northwest of here. You know, in the season, there are more alligator hunters down here than than alligators. Maybe you can take a photograph of one of them then. Very droll. 
There was even a tour company that let excursionists shoot from the deck of a paddle steamer. Chugged up the waterways and churned whole bayous into mud. Thankfully, Look at him on the bank there. Put a stop. <laughs> yes. Yes, there. Oh, no, he's gone. Ah. Could you stop the boat just there, off the island? Sure. If we stop too long, locals are going to start getting curious. Just, just there, please. So, so I'm facing the landmass, right? Oh, yeah. Look, there's an alligator back in those palms. Could you, could you run in there and coax him out? Coax him? Please, he's quite something. If I could take that fellow's likeness, it might, it might just save him <laughs> from the taxidermist. Oh, that's what you think? Um, maybe I want this monster stuffed and on display. <laughs> that's the spirit. Out you go, then. Get him and uh, get him to notice you and then turn to you. If I'm eating, I hope he eats you too. Yeah, I, I. Oh, he's awake. Get him back here, quick. No, 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 no. I hope you're slow. Put that away. We're conservationists, not killers. Got him. What a specimen. Yeah, I don't know if I like working with this guy. I don't know what I'd do without you, sir. I really don't. <laughs> You'd be dead. We can congratulate ourselves on a job well done, Mr. Morgan. Take us back where we began. Anyway, I hope you got something worth printing. Oh, assuredly. The nation will see these beautiful beasts for what they are. Come on now. Thing Mr. Chucky survived. Could have been just, just food. To the bank. He's bright, that but he's not that bright. Us. Yes. These pictures you're taking. Yes. They're gonna be any good. <laughs> I certainly hope so. Though I doubt it. <laughs> the subject is magnificent. The backdrop, jaw dropping. But the agent of beauty is a talentless fool. Although maybe I'll strike a few lucky shots. You sure do make me laugh that way you talk about yourself, Mr. Mason. Well, I'm good for laughing at, if nothing else. I didn't mean it like that. I know. Still, I feel such a fool around you, sir. Don't worry about it. Good luck out there, dude. I foresaw many an ignominious future for myself, but never damsel in distress. Well, uh, good luck, Mr. <laughs> Mason. Thank you, and to you too, sir. Try and stay out of trouble. I shall certainly try. Yep. Not bad. Okay, so. Couple of options. Um, I think what we should do, we should, I think this was the mansion area. Uh, we should probably just head into this area, wait until night, yeah! and then See what kind of job that guy wants us to do for him. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe wait somewhere just outside of town. Or we could go into Maybe we could Hit up a hotel or something Uh Saloon 
I don't know. The fence over there. General store. Hey, move! Might just be better off camping if we can. I don't suppose we can camp here. Just outside of city limits. No, we have to be a little bit further out. Okay. Literally in the middle of the swamp. Who wouldn't want to camp there? Sleep overnight. Alright, let's take a break here and when we come back we'll go to the mansion and then we'll likely go to Dutch.